All right, so today we are looking at the Stanley Model ST400 once again. And today I'm going to be doing a full review of this opener. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much every review I've done so far. I'm just going to go over, you know, the opener itself. And I'll, of course, run it a few times for you guys. So, um, yeah, like I said, this is a Stanley Model ST400. This one is from 1995. And, um, yeah, it is obviously a chain drive unit. It has a half chain, half cable with a five-piece tube rail. Um, the motor itself has a one-half horsepower AC motor in it. And, um, yeah, obviously it has two lights that kind of, you know, stick out directly to the side there. Um, or in the front, but go to the side. So, um, yeah, there is the info sticker on the back, ST400. Uh, that serial number uh, tells you the date, uh, the first two numbers of the year, so 1995. Um, back here, you have the wiring. Um, those two are, or the top two are just for a two wire console and then you can hook up a four wire console if you want to. And then that plug right there is for the safety sensors. Those are your uh, dip switches. This is a dip switch motor and then there are your force adjustments right there um, This one would have come with one of those old style uh, Door control buttons. I don't have one of those. So I'm just using an old genie button here and Then these are the original sensors here. Uh, this one is the sending eye and then this bigger one with the LED on it is the receiving eye and the receiving eye will light up if it's reading it if it's not reading it it will turn off. So um, yeah, like I said, half chain, half cable. It's got a five piece tube rail. Um, down here you have, there's the pulley right there. And then here is the trolley system. Um, you can pull this down and back and it will stay disconnected as long as this little thing is uh, hooked. You can also push it uh, you know, down and forward and it will stay disconnected. Uh, there's the inner slide right there. The flat side is facing up. And then to connect it, you have to um, push it back so that this little thing is in that slot. And then when you bring it over, it will connect. It's a little stiff, but... So, um, yeah, uh, I guess let's go ahead and run the machine here. Um, you guys can see how it sounds. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So yeah, it is a little bit noisy. Um, the case kind of vibrates on this one. I've tried tightening down the screws, but it still vibrates a little bit. Um, we'll go ahead and run it back down though. It's mainly on the way down. So yeah. Um, it, it's basically the same speed as a normal operator. Uh, I think this one is slightly slower than um, a lot of, not only the older Stanleys, but you know, Chamberlain AC motors as well. Um, this opener would have come with a Stanley Model 1050 remote. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those either, but it's just a remote with a single button in the center. But um, yeah, so on the Stanleys here, uh, it's a good idea to keep the chain Kind of loose you don't want to put too much stress on the rail or on the plastic tube support um that is kind of the main thing i dislike about the stanleys is the rail system uh this tube rail is incredibly flimsy and also the tube support here is made of plastic and they are prone to breaking um this is how you adjust the chain uh there's that little bolt you turn it clockwise to tighten the chain and counterclockwise to loosen. It's a 7 uh, bolt there. And then you got this little sprocket cover that can be pulling off. It's a little weird, but there's your sprocket. So um, yeah, we will go ahead and run this again here. You do the, the sprocket turning there. But 
but yeah, um, the motor itself is very reliable. Um, it's just the rails are not the best. Um, the reason this one was replaced is because one of the connections on the, you know, circuit board had become unsoldered or the solder broke. So I had to redo that, but it wasn't a big deal. So under here, you have those, the white dial and the black dial. Um, those are your open and close limit adjustments. And it'll basically tell you on the bottom uh, which way to turn those to get it to, uh, you know, where you want it. Basically, if you, when you would unpack these brand new, um, you'd put the trolley in the center and then you would just run the motor until it stopped. And basically how these things work is it wouldn't run very far at first and you would just keep turning it until it would be where you want because if it's on the either up or down limit and you try to get it and you turn it so it needs to go more, it will come off the limit and as soon as it comes off the limit, it'll actually start running so that it hits the limit, which makes it pretty easy to set. Honestly, you just keep turning it until it slowly bumps its way up until uh, it's where you need it to be. So um, yeah, anyway, uh, we'll give it a sensor check here. I'll show you what it does when the sensor's trip. So if something gets in the way, it stops and the light starts blinking. And the light will continue to blink until you close the door the next time. Uh, when you trip the force, it does the exact same thing. Um, if it's going up and you trip the force, it'll just start blinking. If it's going down and you trip the force, it will do the exact same thing. It'll stop and go back up. Um, that little thing there, um, you just loosen it, you know, counterclockwise, and then the light shade just comes off. It's kind of hard to put it back on one-handed, so I'm not going to do that, but... Yeah, um, we'll go ahead and run this back down here. Yeah, and on this one, it's just the case. Um, I don't know. It's I don't know why it's being so damn loud, but it wasn't quite that loud before I took it apart. But I have tried to tighten the screws on it but i don't know the light lens makes a little bit of noise too but it's mainly just the case but um yeah so there you go that is a full review of the stanley st400 pretty simple machine honestly um on the inside especially uh, there's just a motor you know gear case drives the sprocket and then the limit little things are just attached to the board and there's an RPM wheel inside there as well. But um, yeah, so there you go. We'll go ahead and run this thing one more time here. There is also a little piece that you have to put in the first section of the rail to get it to attach to the uh, little chain support or tube support thing to tighten the chain up. Um, this this rail doesn't actually bolt in. It's just the tension from the chain keeps it together. And actually this rail, um, honestly, if, if you were to, you know, hold it upright, uh, the rail sections will actually just kind of, you know, come apart. They don't really snap together. Um, it's kind of the same principle as, you know, the opener. They just kind of slide together and the tension from the chain keeps them together. But uh, anyway, we'll run this back down. Yeah, and the trolley does kind of catch because, like I said in the last video, um, I don't have this attached to anything. Normally there would be an arm right here that connects to the door and it would kind of hold it straight. But since I don't have that, it just kind of, you know, does that and it catches a little bit on the chain. But there you go. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the review of the Stanley Model ST400. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.